Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hello. This episode is brought to you by We're in Pain because we have to re record this for like the third time because of audio issues. And back pain. (laughs) Just Just everything going on over here. Everything is pain. Cheers. Existence is pain. Existence is pain. Especially existence as a woman. Oh, God. (laughs) Comment down below if you feel our pain. Not even period pains, it's my fucking back. <laughs> That's just boob pain. Yes, it's boob pain. Boob. Boob pain because boobs. <laughs> Alright. Well, as always, I am Luna. I am joined by Artemis. Why, hello there. And Looney. Hi. And we're going to be doing chapter two of Cinderella Phenomenon. Woo! For hey. definitely the first time. Totally. Alright. Start this off all fun. <laughs> I don't see why this is necessary. Of course this is necessary, princess. You work to show you can be useful. For the last half hour, Parfait and Delore have been debating what chores they want to give me. I can't believe they are seriously going to make me work like a commoner. No freeloaders at the Marchin, remember? And you can't pull the princess card anymore now that you're a homeless peasant. One second, as Sol decides to text his sister to ask his wife a question. Cheer Jesus. What the fuck he wants? Because my phone volume is off, so I was not responding. Oh, mine's just vibrating. <laughs> so, like, I, the fuck I he can't want? do that. He's ordering food. Ah. Okay, then. Anyway. Uh, next one? Next. Yes, I did finish that. Being demoted to a homeless peasant is not my fault. If you really think about it, it was kind of me. Yeah. Oh, if you really think about it, it was kind of me to demote you. Stop teasing her, Delora. Luna's had a lot thrown at her already. (laughs) No, she hasn't. (laughs) I'm only speaking the truth. Besides, working to live is the commoner's way of life, but at least it's rewarding. But if you do nothing, you get nothing. No food, no clothes, no bed. You are no longer a princess, Luna. Life here at the Marchant is comfortable, and you need to work for comfort. Remember that. What you do is your choice, princess. Do I even have a choice? Technically. Technically. You could go live in the streets. (laughs) That is an option. The streets. I mean... (laughs) (laughs) Refuse all! (laughs) The streets. Refuse all. I've seen rats. (laughs) No! No! That is not proper sexual education! (laughs) And now everyone. Everyone's just so confused right now. Good. <laughs> Did you say that one? Yeah. Yes. Do I even have a choice? Not really, no. Let's see. How about cooking duties? Oh, yes. Poison, everyone. No way. She'd burn a salad. <laughs> She could be a receptionist. (laughs) Then we'd lose all of our customers. That's... That's probably true. (laughs) I am right here, you know. (laughs) And? (laughs) Sorry? (laughs) Do you have any useful skills at all? As a princess, I had servants who did everything for me. They cleaned my room, helped me dress. How am I expected to possess skills for things I have never done? Aha! Hmm? I found the perfect job for our Cinderella. Is my char- favorite character about to come up? Favorite character! The yes! Ta-da! 
Luna will be in charge of sweeping the merchant floors. What? <laughs> Perfect. Even she should be able to do that. You'd be surprised how many people do not know how to sweep a floor. Yeah, but when she the, has broom. the broom sweeps itself, <laughs> yeah. I don't think it literally does not Spoilers. take much. <laughs> Could you, princess? I refuse. <laughs> Fix out. But look, I even put a cute little ribbon on our broom just for you. It's your very own special broom. A princess does not clean. Hard-headed as ever. Don't worry, I have a fix for this. Suddenly, the blue flies into my hands. I am pulled helplessly along as the thing begins to sweep the floors. Yay! Woo! I try to pull my hands away, but they may as well be glued to the broom. They do not budge. What have you done? You should be thanking me. I'm helping you with your duties. Dolora, isn't this a little too much? Nah. Oh, nonsense. The princess is learning useful new skills. Mr. Broom will teach her everything she needs to know. If the floor is dirty, Mr. Broom will come to life and start sweeping. And it will not stop until the floors are spotless. What? Come on, Parfait. We've got time for a cup of tea. But... She'll be fine. A little sweeping never killed anyone. You'd be surprised. Dot, dot, dot. You are dreadful. Enjoy your time with Mr. Broom. Wait! Did they really just leave? <laughs> hey, so slow down! Someone's died from a street sweeper. What? <laughs> I looked up if anyone's died by sweeping. <laughs> I mean, if I mean, they weren't the ones doing the actual sweeping, mm -hmm. I don't think that counts. Oh, another guy got run over by a street sweeper? How many people have been run over by street sweepers? That's, That's a waterfall. Are... I don't know what that has to do with any of this. Not smart. Okay. Why do accidents involving commercial grade street sweepers keep happening? <laughs> those things, you, those things are not quiet. How do you not get out of the way? Yeah, oh, but this was a street sweeper crash. Hmm. Okay. Why are we looking this up? <laughs> I was curious. How oh, it? The boom begins to sweep faster. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Mister Broom. Despite my protest, I'm still forced, like a puppet, to sweep the floors. With grudging tenacity. tenacity. Sparkling clean floors. Beautiful. Spotless. Mm. I love Mr. Broom. I can barely catch my breath after that. You're fine. Princess Parfait sent me to check. Yeah. <laughs> How lovely! It's so clean! I can see from my reflection on the floorboards. I'm impressed. Don't not even think about stepping into this oh, room wow. with your dirty shoes. <gasps> Puppy cameo! Come here, princess! Come here, come here. Hello, honey. Hi, baby. Oh, wow. Aren't you the puppy? Get, Get up, up here. Come, come on. on. Come on. Yeah! There's now a puppy on Mooney's lap. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what were we doing? Right. This. Yes. Hello? Mother. Hello? Okay then. Right, then. Goodness! I didn't know princesses could be such terrifying creatures. You are aware that the Martian is opening soon, yes? The floor isn't going to stay clean forever. And do not open the Martian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one way to make sure the floor stays clean. I do sympathize with you, princess. It's difficult adjusting to the commoner's life. I'm sorry. What work have you done in this place? I have walked places. Uh -huh. <laughs> and make Walt carry your freaking bags. It's difficult work to make someone else carry my bags, okay? <laughs> Such difficult work. Such difficult work. What would you know about that? More than you think. 
Mm-hmm. What? Oh, did I let that slip? That was my mistake. Alma just smiles at me, his eyes gleaming with playful mischief. He's definitely not hiding something. My hands are red and sore from all the sweeping I've done today. I remember the slave a niece offered me. Salve. <laughs> the slave. <laughs> I was offered a slave. <laughs> that, that is a different type of story. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. different story. So, something different entirely. Woo. I remember the salve a niece offered me when I first woke up in my room. Surely that will help somewhat. I apply it to my hands and find, to my surprise, that it is very effective. Most of the redness quickly fades along with the pain. Is this what my life will be like if I do not break the curse? Forced to work day in and day out? Unfortunately. I cannot let things stay as they are. I must oh, act. Valid. I lay down to rest. <laughs> Tiredness falls upon me with a heavy, suffocating blanket. I close my eyes and feel myself shift into darkness of sleep. I was about to have another frickin'... Oh, thank God. Despite having slept for hours, I am still tired when I wake. I glance back at my hands and remember the style of effectiveness. Whatever Anise gave me really works. I should ask her to make me more. I feel like this is not the last time I will need it. I must act quickly. The sooner I break the curse, the better. The people who offered to help me all are here. Whom should I ask for help? Totally the first time we're having this conversation. <laughs> totally the first time. We definitely haven't already recorded the future episode. <laughs> not at all. We totally don't know what's going to happen. Totally not. It's fine. Okay, then Bye, puppy. Okay. She did not go far. So, Karma? Yes. yes. I find Karma sitting quietly at the bar. I thought he was the picture of elegance when I saw him at the toy shop. But really he's just conceited. I walk over to where he is. Oh, Princess Luna! You look stunning as always in your work clothing. He must be mocking me, but nah. it does not matter. I am here because I want you to teach me about goodness. Not even a compliment in return? I'm rather offended. Relax, princess. I'm just teasing you. I noticed. Now, can you answer my question? Princess, you do so wound me. Find me, River. <laughs> this is going nowhere. Maybe I should ask someone else. Mm -hmm. Princess, wait. You made the right decision in coming to me for help. I assure you. Really? Yes. Okay. Look at this face. Look at this face. Yes, it's very punchable. <laughs> If anyone's wondering, I'm looking at Artemis' face. <laughs> and I'm waggling my eyebrows at her. Do I have to add that type of... Oh, yes. yes I need a wa waggling eyebrow. Mm -hmm. How the hell do I do that? Uh, do one with, Just my, make them with my eyebrows down and one with my yeah. eyebrows up and then we fuck with it. <laughs> then we fuck with it back and forth. That's yes. going to be such a noise to edit. It's going to be amazing. It'll be, It'll be so worth it. The best people, princess, look beautiful. The way you look outside has to match what you have inside. How is that supposed to help me? Because. Are you implying that I am not beautiful? Of course not. I only suggest that you smile more often. I feel like me and Artemis are staring each other down during this whole conversation. <laughs> so it's easier to not look at your face when Do you I say that. Do I need to give you two a moment? <laughs> yes, get out. We need, we need a moment. Mind. We need the room. <laughs> I don't know if I'm fist fighting or something else, but something's going to happen. Enemies to lovers. <laughs> I feel like I'm too tired for enemies right now. I believe in us. <laughs> okay. Smiling would not help me accomplish a good deed. And smiling has nothing to do with beauty. Oh dear. I'm afraid that's not true at all. People who are beautiful smile all the time. Like myself. He's not helping at all. <laughs> Don't give me that look, darling. A real smile lifts, lifts the heart and takes stress off the mind. You stressed?
Why am I being piled up? <laughs> you guys stressed. You were too serious you were there for a second. You too stressed. Hi again, princess. Ah. Oh. Hi, baby. All the puppy cameo. And? Can you, okay, okay, not, this is with, not the microphone. Not the microphone. <laughs> well, in order to do good, you must first change yourself. Make yourself more beautiful on the outside and the inside. I really don't know why I came to him for advice. Because he's the best, obviously. But what did I expect from a flamboyant man? <laughs> <laughs> he is as shallow as a puddle of water. That's a good line. <laughs> All I'm picturing is that one guy who was like, oh, it's just a puddle. Walk, walk. <laughs> Die! <laughs> I stare uh, in horror at the floor. Garvel. And gravel. gravel and sand are embedded between. <laughs> so that just sounds French. <laughs> embedded between the floorboards, the wood beneath my feet is covered in a thick musk. Before it, hey. <laughs> so, so, you wanna sweep? Oh no! You wanna sweep? <laughs> Stop! I never thought I'd see this. The princess is actually sweeping. I'd say it's more like the broom is sweeping and the princess is just along for the ride. Yeah, that checks out. Oh, whoops. Lady Parfait, your orders have arrived. Where should I put them? At the back, please. Thank you! I glare at Garland as he begins to move. You! Eh. You are dirtying the floor! Sorry! Ah! Run away. Garland dashes across the floor with long steps in an attempt to leave as few footprints as possible. This was Dolores doing, wasn't it? How could you tell? Is it obvious? <laughs> this has witch having fun written all over it. I need water. Wow, completely spotless. Your optimism makes me want to punch you. <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> makes Luna want to punch us too. Yeah. Both Lunas. Yes. Oh. Aww. Don't be mad at the broom, princess. It's only trying to help. Oh, it's a evil baby. It's doing nothing but making my life miserable. Yeah, don't, don't be broom bad. How dare you? Lady Parfait, I must speak with you. That sounds mysterious. I look up at the witch that has just entered. She is a regular at the marchant, and according to Parfait and Delore, a good witch. She orders tea here from time to time. She has mud on her shoe. <laughs> you good, princess? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you good? Princess? We okay? I love how she's looking at me, but with closed eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it checks out. Why is she yeah, glaring at me like that? I believe it's because of your shoes, dear. Just, I have just cleaned the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I will clean up after my after myself right away. Good. <laughs> Princess is something else. I've never seen a witch so frightened of someone before. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Yes. Yeah. The witch hurriedly cleans up the track she made coming in before going to speak with Parfait. Even though Parfait <laughs> says that the lore and this witch is good, I do not trust her judgment. Especially not when she considers Delore, who ruined my life, a good person. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's fine. I put the broom back in its resting place before double-checking my work. Now that I am done, I can continue to work on breaking my curse. Whom should I ask for help today? <clears throat> Wait, we gotta... I mean... <clears throat> if we're going karma, <clears throat> we gotta go all karma. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Joker! <Okay. laughs> Hi, princess. Yes? Yeah? Stop fighting! But we want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you, you got something right. <laughs> if we're good, don't you 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 don't you
this. <laughs> See, this is why we can't, can't we can't co- record the same <laughs> of them as each other. This is why <laughs> we need to be We sensically assaulting each other. <laughs> it's the only it's way. The only outcome. I mean, physical assault. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, when it comes to, like, having a choice and stuff, let's be honest, in choices, we don't really have a choice. <laughs> we follow what the character wants to do. Yeah. And then in Dragon Age, you're just chaos, and I just sit there. Yeah, we're going karma. karma. We, we gotta go all karma. Karma! Karma it is. I find karma sitting at one of the tables looking out a window. You're being quiet today. What a rare sight. Oh, princess. Karma. Why would you be so surprised to see me? Because it is an honor every time you visit me. Have you come for my advice? I want you to tell me how to do a good deed. My, my. So straightforward. What is he talking about? (laughs) It's really simple. You just do something without strings attached. No strings attached? Yes. You do something for someone without asking them to pay you back. It is hard to wrap my head around doing such a thing. (laughs) Why would I do something without needing to? (laughs) Have you done such a thing for someone before? Of course I have, princess. That was a long pause. (laughs) It was only a thoughtful one. For dramatic effect. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Is that all? I believe so. That tidbit of wisdom ought to serve you well. A month has passed and I have yet to complete even one good deed. Not, Not for any lack of trying, though. I have been asking around for advice for how to be a good person, and receive various answers. What makes someone good? I'd say being selfless. I think it's important that you consider another person's feelings. Who was, which one of us was wrong? I'm pretty sure Me. you. Patience. Remember, it's the bunny talking. Uh, I don't want to do that. No, the bunny's using his voice right now. Oh, not yeah. Not the bunny voice. Very, very fair. The ability to soothe you in the most broken of hearts. My head hurts. I <laughs> love how you're leaning away. <laughs> Anytime you, you cup its rumple, we, like, get... Just... Uh. <laughs> Forget I ask. <laughs> I love how he's the only one that she says With anything With a response, to. yep. yep. Yeah. Bravery. Loyalty. You must be beautiful, both on the inside and out. I'm helpful. Right. <laughs> Carmen got a response, too. A much better one than Rumble. Must yes. I be all of those things in order to be good? According to Parfait, I, I cannot just fun. pretend. It has to come from my heart. I placed my hand on my chest and considered a steady pulse on my heartbeat. That will not be easy. I close my eyes, thinking of all the possible ways I might be able to break my curse. But in the end, my mind is blank. Mother, what am I supposed to do? A dream? Ooh. Your personal feelings are nothing but a weakness for others to exploit. Bitch! That is why you do not show them. Bitch. You only show them that you are strong. Bitch. Yes, mother. You must not let false kindness deceive you. People will use niceties to trick you into exploiting your weak emotions. But you can trust me, Luna. I will never hurt you. I will never lie to you. I am all you need. I love you, Luna. I love you too, Mother. Bitch! Yeah. Bitch! <laughs> How are those lessons of yours going? I hope you're not giving anyone a difficult time. I am the only one having a difficult time. <laughs> Sounds like a problem. Oh, motherfucker. Have you tried pairing up with someone? Yes, we should pair up with someone. Pairing up? Some of the people in the tavern pair up to assist each other. Two heads are better than one, as they say. 
It's not a bad idea, but the problem is with her. She was going to volunteer to pair up with the Ice Princess. She has a point. People may not glare at me anymore, but it does not escape me that I am still disliked. Most of the boarders at the march and volunteered to help her, remember? And I haven't heard any of them retract their offers. It's only a matter of time. Stop it, Delora. That's kind of it's your choice, princess. Pairing up is only a suggestion. Oh, sorry. Did I? That, that, that was, was the whole end. thing. Oh. Would pairing up with someone really help me break my curse? What if they end up being an annoyance instead? Princess? Um, excuse me, princess? I'm sorry for disturbing you, but you've just been staring at your tray and the customer is waiting for his order. Of course. Delora has been helping Anise today. The merchant is unexpectedly busy and they cannot keep up with all the customers. Stop daydreaming, Luna. Food doesn't deliver itself. Do not need you telling me that. I stretch out on my bed. A stiff mattress is little to loosen the aching muscles. I was on my feet the entire day struggling to keep up with the steady stream of people that came into the marchin. I have never seen the marchin this busy. I roll into my step and bury my face in my pillow. My arms and legs protest the movement. I refuse to live this type of life much longer. I need to break this curse as soon as possible. Why don't you pair up with someone? Pairing up might not be such a bad idea. I wonder, <laughs> who are we gonna <laughs> choose? Who could we possibly go for? I think that's the end of the episode, though. I think it is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's where mm -hmm. it's supposed to end. Check so. All right, so that is it for today's episode. Woo! Woo! That wasn't as entertaining as the next couple ones are going to be. Yeah. I mean, this is like what, the third time we've recorded this episode. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Technological difficulties. It's fine. We are fine. not professionals. Fine. <laughs> we are not professionals, people. Unfortunately. Anyway. Uh, signing out for the day, guys. Comment down below who you choose so far. Fuck yeah. Who do you who do you like the most? Who do you like the least? And tell us why it's Rumple that you like the least. <laughs> yes. I mean, it or could Fritz. It, yeah, I was about to say it could be Fritz because we barely saw Fritz. We saw it for like four seconds. Yeah. <laughs> like two chapters. To be ago. Fair, he finally seen him in his own story. So. God. Okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Bye, guys. See you next bye. time. Bye. Bye. Bye.